um, who prepares an analysis uh, of every plot of land that we look at. Um, and we, you know, we choose primarily, we choose locations that are um, safe, like geographically, like no tsunamis, no earth stuff like that. I mean, obviously they can, they can always happen, right? They happen in Portugal, they happen here in the Czech Republic as well. However, we are looking at stable uh, countries, both, both geographically and economically, um, at least a little bit <laughs> for now. Um, we're also looking at lands that are actually close to water sources mm -hmm. so that we can harvest, um, I mean, gray water uh, helps, but so we can actually utilize the water from, from the river. Uh, and then in terms of the food, uh, every house uh, will have its own aquaponic farm. So you're able to raise, you know, both veggies and fish in a close circle together. Uh, there will be farming spaces, again, indoor, outdoor farming spaces that will be available for rents. Um, people will also have uh, an opportunity to turn uh, this into a business uh, to start growing, you know, food for, for the neighborhood, for the community and start selling like that. Um, yeah, in terms of energy, again, I mentioned solar panels, small wind turbines. Uh, this is something that we're dabbling with uh, as well, just so we can generate our own. And again, we're also looking at uh, lands or pieces of lands, pieces of the world uh, that are somewhat warm. So we're not looking at any, you know, colder climates uh, just because of the comfort and just because of the, just because of the, well, comfort, um, you know, altogether. Uh, but like I said at the very beginning, we're uh, we're creating towns that are self-sufficient, that are independent, and able to truly, um, you know, provide for themselves. Even if, um, you know, shit hits the fan and big cities go down, which I hope doesn't happen because that would be really bad for a lot of people. Um, but if you know, if the dark, if the light goes dark uh, in the world, uh, then our our towns will will be you know, the shining lights <laughs> in a way. <laughs> yeah. um, but again, we do not want to cut ourselves off. Um, one of the one of the lands that we're looking at is pretty much in the middle of Portugal, in the middle of the country. Um, and while it is very rural, uh, set, in the, set in the woods kind of by a river, um, you know, there are plenty of other towns, smaller towns around it. Mm -hmm. There are farms around there. So, you know, you're obviously free to leave the town whenever you want. There is there are no restrictions <laughs> of that kind, of course. Um, so if you wish to, you know, go out, maybe visit a local farm, buy half a cow, put it in the freezer for, you know, the next six months and feed your family, you are more than welcome to do that. <laughs> right. But ultimately, again, uh, each town will be able to provide for its uh, residents. And again, this is why we're capping the towns at roughly 400 houses, um, 800 to 1,000 ish residents. Uh, so that we can actually manage uh, the size of the of the community of the town for these purposes. Um, I love on the website you're showing all the different amenities that um, you will be offering. Um, can you talk through them, like, or at least your favorite ones that you're excited about? Maybe towards the direction of culture and, um, let, let's say, education or entertainment. But how you're right. thinking about it. I think the one that I am most excited about is the beehive, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, how many people dream about like, you know, growing bees? Right. <laughs> I know many. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know some that have done it and uh, I don't think it's the easiest. And so the great thing about this, actually, we will have trained people on the team mm -hmm. uh, that will make it easy. But these are pretty like high techy uh, beehives. They shouldn't be too difficult to operate and everybody will be able to do this. So the beehive is something that resonates with me <laughs> very much. Um, I'm also really excited about the maker space mm -hmm. because this will be a space where like a workshop where you're able to create, um, you know, whatever floats your boat. If you wanna, you know, craft, uh, oh my, nothing comes to my mind right now. <laughs> but if you want to create anything, perhaps a toy, you know, for your kids or for your neighbor's kids or whatever, you can create a toy or maybe you can work uh, with kids to actually create something for themselves. Um, you know, I've been talking to Orr um, that we actually need to have a piano um, in in the town as well because I'm a piano player. I have yeah. I started when I was six, and um, it's still something that I that I do every day. Well, nice. almost every day. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, so this is something that's really really important for me as well. Uh, but in general, you know, I'm really excited about all of the communities, of course, or all the amenities. 
um, you know, the community space, uh, which is where you can, you know, mingle, network <laughs> with anyone uh, that comes there. We'll have a library. Uh, we're taking suggestions for books. Super. Uh, I'll make sure that we have plenty of copies of Atlas Shrugged, of course, <laughs> and the Bitcoin standard. <laughs> but we're, we we're very open to suggestions for books as well. And then what I also really, really like, um, if you're seeing that, the office cube, and which will be like a tiny, tiny cube. Oh, I mean, not so tiny, but a uh, office cube for one to two people small and that you can rent. Uh, and it's literally set, you know, pretty much in the middle of the woods. So in complete privacy, you'll be surrounded by the sounds of the forest, you know, by the sunlight, by the fresh air. My goodness, it's just, it's, I love it already. <laughs> and so if you want to, you know, uh, dive deeply into your work, um, you know, renting the office cube will be a really perfect idea. And then the community space, if you want to, you know, hang out around other people, and socialize a bit, <laughs> that kind of balances it out, right? Um, but yeah, in terms of the amenities, uh, we really wish to provide all the comforts uh, that bigger cities offer mm -hmm. to their people. And hopefully more. Again, we're open to uh, suggestions, not just in terms of books, <laughs> but suggestions in general, of course. Um, yeah. Is there anything that speaks to you that is really exciting for you in terms of the amenities? Uh, theaters, uh, performance spaces, spaces of um, co-creation of music and poetry. Yeah performances yeah I, I really like that yeah so we have the maker show for all of that definitely mm -hmm. we'll make it happen uh tell me what's uh, your uh, uh process of attracting people uh to this project these days because i can um i can see that you're uh, doing a lot of communications that you're sharing that you have x spaces um, mm -hmm. maybe you can uh, you know invite the audience uh, deeper into uh, what you're building uh, by directing them into your, say, communication channels. Mm -hmm. Right. So we run uh, several social media profiles. Uh, we're not on Nostra yet. Uh, I need to make that happen. <laughs> but we are on all the generic ones. We have Insta, we have Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, X. And we do run uh, X or we go live on, on X on Twitter. Uh, we have one X space actually coming up uh, next Thursday on September 19th. Mm -hmm. And we're doing this X space with a really exciting person. Her name is Charlotte Tweed and she's a Liberty travel coach. So she's a travel coach, uh, but she helps people pick uh, these Liberty or freedom oriented destinations, which is really exciting. We actually met through the Free Cities uh, Foundation Telegram group. Uh, and connected immediately because we just click. Nice. Uh, so you're, you know, she knows, you know, the travel industry from A to Z, from head to toe, but she's also super familiar with all of these destinations as well, including Freedom and so, so many others all over the world. Uh, so I highly recommend listening uh, if you're interested. Next Thursday, um, we utilize social media for our communication, of course, for, 